Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will examine how to create tab stops in Word documents. This can be useful when creating an organized list in a Word document. For example, suppose that you had to create a document that listed the names of people in your company and also in which department they worked. In this case, it may be helpful to create a document that contains two columns of information, one for the names of the people and another for the names of the departments. Using tab stops within your Word document can allow you to easily accomplish this type of task. While it is more common to insert tabs into your document prior to writing the lines of text, tabs can be inserted either before or after text has been written. Tabs can also change from paragraph to paragraph within a document. Each paragraph, which may be no longer than a single line of text, can have its own unique set of tab stops. So in summary, tabs do not have to be placed in a strictly uniform fashion throughout your entire document. Before you add tab stops to a paragraph in your document, ensure that you have the ruler enabled. Once you have the ruler turned on, you will be able to see the tab stop toggle button at the far left end of the horizontal ruler. It's called a toggle button because when you click the button, you toggle between the various types of tabs that are available. Left, center, right, decimal, and bar. To insert a tab stop, click into the paragraph where you will type the text or select existing lines of text to which you want to add tab stops. Then click the tab stop button in the horizontal ruler until its face displays the type of tab stop you want to insert. If you want to know which type of tab stop is currently selected, hold your mouse pointer over this button to see a screen tip that shows the name of the tab stop type. If you click the button to change the tab stop type, then move your cursor away and then back over the button again to display the name of the newly selected tab stop type. Next, click into the horizontal ruler at the position at which you want to place a tab stop of the currently selected type. The type of tab stop you insert affects the way text will align when text is entered after a user presses the tab key on the keyboard to arrive at the tab stop. Left tabs will left align adjacent text. Right tabs will right align adjacent text. Center tabs will center align adjacent text. And decimal tabs will align numbers by their decimal points. The bar tab, often used in conjunction with the other tabs, draws a vertical bar wherever you position it in the ruler. It does not affect the alignment of text or act as a tab stop. It is purely for aesthetics. To remove a tab stop from text, click into the paragraph to change or select the paragraphs that have the same tab stops that you want to change. Then click and drag the tab stop you want to remove from the horizontal ruler and drop it into the document area to remove the tab stop from the selection. You can also reposition tab stops that have been added to the horizontal ruler by simply clicking and dragging the small black icons of the tab stops shown within the ruler to a new location in the ruler. You should also be aware that if you set tab stops for a paragraph, when you press the Enter key on your keyboard to create a new paragraph, the tab stops you created for the previous paragraph will continue to the next paragraph. If you no longer want to have the same tab stops, you will need to remove them from the new paragraph. After you have placed your tab stops into a new paragraph, simply press the tab key on your keyboard to indent the line to the tab stop that you have inserted. Any text that you type will align itself using the alignment of the associated tab stop type. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.